So we hear about businesses being data driven, but how does that apply at a city scale? Well, at New York City, you know, Mayor Bloomberg is an entrepreneur and a businessman, so he has definitely taken the principles that applied as a businessman and taken those to the city and uh, really been an aggressive proponent of measuring the data and using that to govern city operations. We see it across the scale in both the way agencies operate on an agency by agency basis and also across the city on a large scale where there are tools and data measures that apply for us to be able to measure ourselves and our performance, but maybe more importantly for the public to be able to access that data and hold us accountable for delivering city services. So what are the most valuable ways that the data is being applied? Well, you know, there's so many and there's so many across the board. I think each agency's ability to manage its operations uh, on a data-driven basis is critical on a uh, on, again, on an agency by agency basis. I think some of the best examples, um, 311, which is one of the most visible um, ways that we interact with our citizens, has very, has very much evolved into a data-driven operation and where we've now been able to allow the public to see the results of 311 inquiries on a map, mm -hmm. to visualize it, to see where potholes and other conditions exist around the city and then we're likewise able to react and respond to that. I think one of, the, one of the other examples is around city sanitation. We keep a scorecard of the conditions of city streets and as you may see a street condition scoring uh, declining, mm -hmm. the sanitation department can respond accordingly. Maybe they need more waste baskets, maybe they more, need more frequent street cleaning. But the ability to do that on a fairly routine and regular basis, all driven by what the data is telling us, is a really integral part of the operation. So what, what challenges have you faced as you've been opening up data? Well, I think the challenges are twofold and probably uh, ones you see across government. The first is that we first and foremost are a steward of the data that we hold. Mm -hmm. And so the concerns around privacy, confidentiality, and public safety are definitely ones that need to be balanced against accessibility uh, to the information. So while we are enormous proponents of having open data and openness to that data, we certainly need to preserve the integrity of the data and the protections that it affords. And I think there's you know, sort of typically policy considerations where government has typically not been a very open bastion of, of uh, sort of sharing all of its um, information and so to evolve out of that into the to a, a standard whereby data is considered open unless there's a reason for it not to be mm -hmm. is kind of turning on its head hmm. the paradigm where you would more typically say nothing's available unless there's a, a need for it. So right. we really sort of switched the paradigm around but have always needed to be very vigilant about the privacy and confidentiality concerns. Sure. So last question for yeah. you. What are some of the most useful apps that you've seen come out of New York's tech community? Well, we've been really fortunate to have some great apps. We've run a big apps competition. We're about to launch our third one, and um, we've seen some incredible applications applied. I think they run the gamut from those that are very broad-based. Um, one of the more successful ones we've seen was My City Way, mm -hmm. and it is a kind of compendium of all things available to you at New York City from dining, nightlife, tourism, coffee shops, bathrooms, restrooms, things okay. like that. You know, pretty wide array sure. of, of available resources. And then those that are a little more targeted, whether it be around um, school performance or one that was very popular was uh, around the species of city trees. So very, very tailored, very targeted, <laughs> but also a very popular one where you can walk down the street, you can uh, uh, basically identify uh, where you are and it will indicate what the trees are on the street, what their species hmm. is, whether they flower or not. And we think this is such mundane information, but it was a very, very popular sure. application. Sure, oh, that's great. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, my pleasure. It. Thank you.